Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about something called PHP Shell. And what this is, this is a browser based shell that allows you to pretty much access your server with just the browser. Um, basically, you get these files and you install them, configure them, and then you basically go to a like on a website, you type in a URL, and it's going to prompt you for a username and a password, and you can enter your shell and work your server through that. And one of the cool things about um, using this is a lot of times uh, administrators are often faced with situations in which they can't or are not allowed to install additional software on the machine that they're using. Um, so this doesn't have them install any additional software. And uh, in many cases, you know, the firewall is so restrictive that nothing apart from HTTP and S gets uh, through. In this case, PHP Shell and Shell in a Box can help you gain shell access to your server. It's kind of like how log me in, you can pretty much set that up on any computer and that port is always going to be open versus remote desktop where you have to configure it and work with it a lot. Uh, this can be handy in a pinch and if you're just trying to do something quick it's pretty convenient and handy to have. So let's see here. So this article basically goes through a whole rundown and install. Um, I'm just going to do it for you, make it a little bit easier. When you start clicking on this, I'll have the URL in the bottom of the video, but you're going to click in this link, read it, whatnot. You're going to download it. I recommend you downloading the zip because almost everyone has the ability to unzip that. Uh, once it downloads, you can just open it and then you're going to extract it. Now, you're going to have to get it on your server. So, I already have a server set up. I'm going to connect to mine. Uh, I've already installed this before, but I'm going to go ahead and install it again. All right. So, we'll make a folder call this PHP test. Now once you created that folder, um, you're going to want to take the entire sh contents of that folder you extracted and place that in that directory. So I'll go ahead and upload that. And then you go to your domain name where you have your server and you're going to add uh, slash the name of the folder slash PHP shell. hash.php okay so this is going to basically create the configuration file um, line that you're going to add when you add a user to this so we'll go ahead and make one called fill and we'll set a password in there called fill and go ahead and update that it says write the following line into config file here go ahead and highlight that go ahead and copy it your PHP folder, take that config file, go ahead and get it, and then edit it. So where you have users, you're going to go ahead and copy that in there. Go ahead and save this file, and then transfer it back. Now there's other ways you could have done that, you know, you could have right clicked I believe here, and clicked edit and it would have done the same thing but this way I have a copy of it on my end in case anything goes wrong so now that that's created we go ahead and just run the actual shell now my apologies I forget that I put that in a folder called PHP shell as well there we go. Cool. So now that I'm in here, I can see that this is my current working directory. So I've gone into my URL and then made this. So I can kind of come over here and see. If you know some basic Linux commands, you can pretty much run them with here. So basically that's a list. That's going to give me a list of all the files that are over here. And if you actually look over here, you can see that they match authors, change log, everything's here. If I go up a folder, we can see that I have one here called Marshall and then if I come here again and I go to change directory back up one level that's what the CD dot dot does I can hit LS give me a list of the files and you can see now that all of the folders that I have here are here and one of the cool things is if I don't have access to this kind of program or I can't put this program on a computer I'm working on and I really need to make a folder and some files and edit or move things you can just come here and like make dir PHP folder. Hit enter. It's going to send that line. And now, if I come over here, you'll see that I do have a. Whoop, I need to refresh. And now you'll see.
see that there's a folder here called PHP folder. If I had files within here that I needed to move or do a few other things like that, um, real simple like line changes within files, that, that's all really, really cool. You can do all that stuff within there. Um, there are a few things that you can't do with this. Um, there are some restrictions as far as like each command uh, can't do with anything from additional inputs. So you can't interact with any programs. Uh, the command must fit on one line. The shell doesn't understand like command continuation. You can't do for loops and stuff like that. It has to be all in one line. And the commands must be processed within a certain time frame, typically 30 seconds. Um, that's a, something based with the web server in Apache and the PHP stop processing within a certain time. And uh, you can edit a lot of the configuration files in here to make this work however you please, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, I'm definitely going to use this and test it out. And if you guys need any help, I'd be happy to more help. Uh, just ask some questions and I'll be happy to help. Take care.